lot of people die of sepsis and they never even heard of it. When you get an infection and it gets out of control, you get a whole body inflammatory response. And if it gets way out of control, you go into something called septic shock. And people who develop that, even with our best efforts, have about a 30-40% chance of dying in the hospital. These patients have a, a quite dismal outcome, and we don't understand why this occurs. We are to be awarded a, a, a NIH P50 grant, and the unique thing that the University of Florida has is it has a, a busy hospital that sits in uh, one of the top uh, research universities in the country. And what the NIH is interested in is uh, bringing multiple disciplines, uh, non-clinicians, uh, to focus on a, on a big problem. Within a few years, a lot of these, uh, these subjects, these patients, have both cognitive and physical declines. So we're trying to understand with basic cellular, preclinical, and clinical studies what happens with these patients. 30 to 50 percent of these uh, patients uh, who survive sepsis end up either being dead or very functionally dependent at one year. One area specifically that's understudied is why older participants or older subjects that have critical illness in the hospital have a worse outcome and that's part of the focus of this this grant. I predict that uh, over the next 10 years uh, the work from this center will result in uh, fundamental changes in the way that we care for uh, sepsis patients in the intensive care unit.